Jalen Williams. Josh Giddy. Chad Holmgren. Lou Dort. Shea Gilders Alexander. This is our Slam 247 coach. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Someone might be a good teammate here. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna. <laughs> My confidence got me saying, yeah, you know, like, you have Nobody to Nobody here is that. undefeated, so it's like. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but you know. Who have I lost some, to? Some, some guys, you know, me. average 30. Who the, I lost to you when? Yeah, last <laughs> summer. We haven't played since then. You lost to Chet, before, bro. Chet, I lost to you? Where? Toronto. I lost to you? Not the day. All right, we're going to ask Kev tomorrow if I lost to you, okay? That's cool. Yeah. You didn't lose the day. I'll, I'll give you the me. day. When did you beat me? Two years ago. When? <laughs> <laughs> well, you seen this, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. When did you get the Last time we played with that little gym in the, uh, right next to your crib. You beat me? Yeah, I got you. Well, no, Lou, we were, <laughs> Lou, we were coming off of like chairs and trailing and now stuff. We was working out first and then. Oh, you know I mean? All right, Lou beat me, guys. Yeah. Chad, you beat me too. J- Get you beat me too. Dom, have you played before? Uh, just in uh, Toronto. Did you beat me? No. Just say you didn't beat me. Just no, I mean, me. just honestly, like, no. But it was it was competitive. Did you beat me? But he said most, what was the question, most likely to win? I'm yeah. still going to say me, though. But just why would you say you? Cool question. Why would you say you? Like a confidence aspect. Like, no, 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 no. You're not, no, no. You're not gonna the have factual aspect. Why would you say you? Because I don't remember when we played. I just remember you won a spot after that. I don't remember what happened. <sighs> So you remember me winning it and you don't remember No, I just remember happened. like a little bit of spot. I remember I was getting to it and then I just don't remember what happened. Did you win the spot? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he for real? I don't no. know. Kev was there. Yo, you won a spot? Yeah. Which spot? Uh, Actually, no, left, we're, we're going to do this later. We're going to do this later. Next left question. Block. Block. Next question. This is the competition from the court that we talked about with one on one. That's spill over. How you guys approach your fit? Nah, cause like, nah, yeah. <sighs> this guy's in a different no type point, of bag. Yeah. So like, are trying we gonna to lie again or no? Trying to no, no, no I'm saying you got me. I'm just, I'm saying, I'm saying, go go trying go. to compete with him, like you're gonna go way over your budget. So it's just like you got to shit. Did that already? Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's not a budget thing. It's not a budget thing. It's not. It's not. It's it's he not. got his own like. Um, yeah, like it's cool because he got his own like like his own thing that you attribute him with. So like watching that, it's like you you want to chase like what like you're saying it's all aura game. Yeah, yeah. like some some just aura like you know yeah like you know like you you like I feel like when when fashion like everybody you know like you can get caught in like a cookie cutter thing where everybody's trying to wear the same thing, which is cool like it looks good but it's like you I think like for him it's probably like chasing like something that's like only unique to him so it's like if you see somebody wearing it it's like oh he looks like so and so and then that's what I feel like everybody else on the team is trying to do. But there's only so many clothes, and certain people have access to certain stuff that you can't you can't get. You know, there's the Drakes of the world. What did I what did I send the other day? The Chrome jeans? Oh yeah. Yeah, those are OD. Like those are one one. Like there's just like and he he got access to certain, so it's not really like a competition thing. So when you think about coaches' offense, right? Like a lot of different rhythms are going on. A lot of different movements is going on. What do you envision for when this five finally gets to hit the court? Well, I mean, we got five guys here that can handle the ball, so it's, it's a unique lineup. Uh, don't many lineups like this, you know, around the league where you can look to anybody to make a play or handle it. So, um, I mean, it'll, we haven't really played a you know game together yet with um, this this group on the floor, but um, we'll take a little bit of time to get used to each other. But once we do, I think having five guys that can make plays is going to be tough to use to stuff. These strong side cuts that you guys have in your offense, I'm curious, do you actually like practice these strong side cuts? Like specifically, your guys yeah. in the industry. I feel like I see you guys do this all the time. Not joking. No, we practice it every day. Yeah? Yeah. So that's a, that's a real part of <laughs> Cut that out, bro. We don't want to give away the sauce. <laughs> right. Uh-uh. We don't practice that, bro. We don't practice that. If I pick that up, I think someone else is going to pick that up. It just happens. They just figure it out. You know ball, bro? It is It is just. <laughs> you know ball? I know a little bit. Okay. Okay. But it's just like a like a like a chemistry thing. It's just like if you play with somebody enough, like you just know what they're gonna do. All right, Lou, I'm gonna ask you a real question. It doesn't even matter. On your jump shot, you do a weird thing when you don't hold your follow through. Your hand kind of like retreats. Is He's there a reason for that? Damn. <laughs> He's Damn. Still- 
my wrist is messed up, you know what I mean? Oh, oh what mm -hmm. the hell? So when I do it, I'm not doing it on purpose. So it just happens because yeah. it feels more comfortable to do it. Mm -hmm. You ever oh try shooting? I'm learning so much. Oh, I wow, I did not know that. Yeah, you got his shot, that. it's weird. I only see you holding the follow through like, What's that from? Times. He always does a little step What's thing though. From? He like step into yeah, it. Step forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. step forward, yeah. You broke it twice. But that's a lot of flat footed shots too. Like I don't really see you do a hop or a one-two either. You have a real interesting jump shot. Is there a reason for why you don't do uh, like the foundational stuff? Because that shit go in. I kind of do it though. I do not agree with that. Yeah, he's, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He's frying your jumper right now. Bro. No cap, that's what I'm thinking. I'm cooking up your jumper right now. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see your jumper. Let's see your jumper. Let's see your jumper. Let's see your jumper. It's interesting because it goes in. If you're shooting like. Yeah, nah, it really depends on where I get the ball from, the way I move and stuff, but like it's not. I don't notice that, honestly, bro. And my shot got better, though, from, from my rookie year, though. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> <laughs> If you look at it, the, the the most like prolific scores in the NBA and over the years have shot mid ranges like Kevin Durant, um, Kobe, T Mac, um, Devin Booker right now, um, Bradley Bill, Jimmy Butler. They all at the end of the day, you just make shots, um, and where it comes from is your choice. But as long as you make them. Your game is super versatile. Like, there aren't that many young dudes who can run pick and roll as a ball handler and as the roller. I guess without giving away too much of the ball, like, what do your workouts look like? How do you prepare to do all these different things with, with the ball in your hand? No, like, my workouts don't really, like, reflect, like, kind of how I play <laughs> as far as, like, positionally. Mm -hmm. Especially since I got in the NBA, a lot of it has been tailored towards like playing off of like who's like on the court. So like if I'm out there kind of with them, a lot of it is like reading stuff like that. You know, like reading if, if he has the ball, where I'm gonna cut from, or like where I'm kind of gonna get open shots from. And then other than that, it's just like kind of get downhill, I guess. And then I think I had like good, I went to college for three years. So I feel like you kind of get forced to like learn the game. So I think a lot of that is from that. What would you say to someone that's watching this right now about real basketball? Like, what should people actually know about basketball? Nothing. Just enjoy watching the game. Facts. Just enjoy it. Do you enjoy watching basketball? I love it. It's art.